Hello and welcome. I am Scarborough and this is City of Heroes. We are with our now level 32 brute who has 1.6 million XP earned. 377,000 to get to level 33 and our next set of enhancement slots. I almost said set of enhancements, but it's slots we get, not the enhancements. You have to buy those and we have 7.5 million influence remaining after fully slotting our character so to review from last episode, everything is all slotted out. I have changed the loadout of the first two powers, Barrage and Energy Punch, to be um, dual accuracy because we're just missing a little too much. And I've also put some Endurance Reducers on these guys in place of the Recharge. Um, they're not going to recharge as fast, but we've got a new Attack Power Energy Transfer, which also teams up with this um, Total Focus down here. So we'll see. I may start moving the um, the various powers around here. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes and see which things seem the most intuitive to me. I've never played this power set before, so it's not like martial arts where I know what order I want to do things in. I'm going to have to play around with it. In the meantime, uh, we're on the Freak Show War. Um, Freak Show started fighting amongst themselves. Uh, there's those who are loyal to Drek and those who are loyal to Bile. And I don't know if we ever actually fight Drek. But now we've got to talk to the Zigzag Man. And uh, he is in this very zone. So Zig Zigzag Man is a freak show who knows what's going on in the war that we're trying to stop because it's causing destruction all across the landscape of Paragon City. Um, so I... Uh, I been toying with the idea of possibly joining a roleplay supergroup here on Everlasting and I saw an advertisement of theirs it was posted about a month ago seems like they're still recruiting though because it's been edited in the last week or two and um, so they're a rogue group it's not strictly villains right they're rogues are sort of neutral I guess and um, you know kind of where is it if we go here Right, Vigilante is what you can do if you're not hero, and I think on the villain side it can be villain or rogue. So I'm not sure if they actually want you to do the tip missions or you're just role-playing it as a rogue, but in any case, um, they're in the rogue aisles. And so I was toying with putting my Dominator in there, but the problem with that is that... Um, if I'm with a roleplay group or if I'm teaming up, I won't be able to show you guys what I'm doing because I, I don't, I, I can't in good conscience. Let's see how this power works. Wow, that's a lot of damage, but it's a really long animation time. Um, I can't in good conscience have chat going between teammates or, or roleplay and stuff going without people's consent. And I really don't want to... Um, get into that with them. Oh, do you mind if I you know, record our roleplay and post it to my channel? Plus, I don't know how interesting that kind of stuff would be to people uh, anyway. And uh, I don't want to be commenting during team play, you know, if, there's, if we're doing like a team mission because it's distracting. And that could cause face plants by other people not just myself, right? And that's not really fair. So I figured, alright, it doesn't make sense to use the Dominator. That will be the character that I am... Uh, that will be the character that I'm going to be doing with you guys. So then I need a different roleplay character. And these guys are mercs, essentially. They said, well, what's a good merc? Well, usually stalkers make good mercs to me, right? Because they can spy on people and sneak and assassinate if necessary and so on and so forth. So I... Um, I made up a stalker for Red Side that's an electric electric. Pretty cool special effects, and I've never done electric melee before, or electric defenses before. It seems like it's mostly a resistance set, from what I could tell, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, it's level 2 right now. I don't know what I'm going to do with that character. Primarily, that character is going to be there to do stuff with that group. And, uh, then this character will be for us and recording and when we're done with Liberty Last we'll switch to a Dominator. Now, the other reason I didn't want to do the Dominator is because it's going to be several months before I can actually 
record that character and that either means that I would have had to play it a lot without doing any recording and then it's not a recorded character right or I would have had to wait three or four months to see if I was interested in joining this guild neither of those were good options uh, before we continue let's take a look at the info here um, energy, energy transfer has uh, so let's see energy transfer has a good chance of disorienting the target this power will execute extremely quickly if under the energy focus mode ah okay so the reason it's slow is because we got to do energy focus first so my guess is we're gonna go bang bang like that so let's try it and see how it goes So we're looking for the zigzag man and seeking clues. I don't think he's going to be he's going to be on the last level we find, I would think. Right? Cuz it's just one hostage. I don't know if you find him whether you actually need any of the other clues. But let us try. Here we go. Going to do total focus. And then let's see how fast energy transfer works. Oh yeah, that's very quick. Much better. All right, so it seems like what we're going to be doing is total focus and then energy transfer. Whereas barrage, I guess we don't really need anymore. And energy transfer is really going to need to come after total focus and not be part of our normal attack chain, but rather to come in when total focus is running. So keep an eye, I haven't actually been watching, but I haven't noticed as many miss chains. Keep an eye on our two hit now that we have dual accuracy and they're both they're both green on all powers. Or they're generic IOs. So hopefully we haven't missed anything up here. Or we'll have to come back. Yeah, one of the things we always did when I was uh when we were playing years ago on my um Supergroup from live, like from, from launch, you know. One of the things that we always did was uh, we would split up and like go through the, when we had most of the floor cleared, we would split up and go through the floor and make sure that the entire map was covered and everything was all straightened out so that we could um, be sure that we had not missed any glowies or hostages or any of those things. So what we're going to do now is go up because otherwise the guys up here might see us down below. And we're going to go ahead and do our quick shot, but we missed. So let's do some AoE. One, two, and you can see how it really pulls down the hit points of these guys so that you can quickly beat an entire group. And that was perfect. We just, I almost thought it was too late. But he executed dull pain, but it didn't quite apply. That's really what you want. You can see that. Look, at we one-shotted both of those guys. And we don't even have damage enhancements on those powers yet. So they're going to become incredible once, uh, once we have them all enhanced and slotted. It'll take a while. It's going to be into the late 30s. But it's going to be awesome when we get there. I am loving this character. I'm really enjoying Energy Melee. Um, I've been talking about it since, heck, Silver Phoenix, about how I like the visuals. And uh, some of you who watched back then said, oh, yeah, you should play it. You'd really like it. You guys are right. I do. It's really cool. Lock the tray numbers here. Yeah, so if you right-click, you can lock and unlock the tray, the power tray numbers. I want them locked because otherwise I accidentally click them and I click over to the wrong thing. In If you watch like Silver Phoenix and a couple of my other characters, maybe all of them, actually cloned 1 and 2, had all the same powers, and then I put these things on like 4 or something, tray 4, because this way if I accidentally clicked over to 2, it was the same as 1. And there were whole videos where I played the entire video clicked over to tray two and didn't realize it because I had clicked over and then kind of forgotten about it. Oh, 
Oh, it's a shame we missed there. As you can see we have a nice high chance of hitting here. Right now that we are working on dual accuracies and they are only plus one. For the plus ones we're at like 95% on almost every power. And when you get to 95%, then only the auto misses are going to cause a miss. Because everything else hits. And then you stop having as many miss streaks. We'll still miss sometimes. But you stop having quite so many miss streaks. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so actually... Hmm. Try to think about where I want to place this. Because my instinct is to hit the one on the end. Wow, all, did all three of them res? That's insane. Yep, all three of them rezzed. What are the odds? Very low. I do like that power. Endurance is holding up great, so it looks like everything's okay. And the recharge is acceptable. So far, so so far so good. I guess we are going to do it this way. Then we'll nail this guy. Another res. Man, they're all they're resing like crazy in this mission. far more often than normal. Ugh, another miss. Oh, I used the wrong power there. Yeah. I get used to this new power. And I've got to think about exactly how I want to lay out the powers on this um, tray here. That's not the zigzag man, is it? No. Man, with this you almost don't even need AoEs because like you take out one with one shot, you take out the other with one shot. Now some of that has to do with fury, right? Because as the fury goes up, our damage goes up. But A huge amount of it is just that these are, these are very high damage powers. So. Did this guy regen too? My gosh, has every single one of them regened inside this mission? Yep, this one too. One, two, three, four, five. And they're all orange, which means we're getting good XP for them, too. I really like that the uh, focus ability speeds up the animation. That's pretty cool, actually. So it just goes bam. One shot. There is our clue. So do we have all of our primaries now? Yep, we have all nine. And that's why the bottom tray is almost full, right? Okay, so there's an elevator here. But let's just check out over this way. Nobody there. Okay. Oops. And this way. Aha. Uh -huh. And nobody here either. Nope. All right. Uh, 
Uh, which way do we come in? The other way, right? So this is the way out? I think so. Yep, this is the way up. Why is he all by himself? Well, we've already gained one bead of XP. So that means at this rate, not that all missions are the same, we've actually taken out a lot of oranges, which are worth extra points. And I actually think Freak Show are also worth a few extra because of the regening. They give you more experience. Because when you defeat one, there's a possibility you actually had to defeat him twice, or even two and a half times, because you might have dealt pain too. Um, but, so not everything is going to give us the same amount of XP that uh, the Freak Show give, but it'll be close, and you can see that if we keep gaining XP at this rate, it's essentially 10 missions per level, 10 or, 10 or 12 missions per level. It's not a lot yet. Okay, where's Zigzag? I'm missing something. Is he in here? Oh, well, there's a guy in here, but it's not Zigzag Man. I sure I like the sound effect of that power. It feels like it's out of proportion for... There he is. It feels like it's out of proportion for the animation. I don't know how to describe it. Wow, two misses. And that is the mission. Zigzag over here gives us a conversation. He tells us it's going to be a big fight. And now we definitely have to stop it because we do not want them screwing with Paragon City. So we need to take Clamor Boy out before they break... Uh, is it break direct out of prison or whatever? So, it's not direct, the other guy. Right? Uh, Zigzag published Schwarzwald's findings. The more ideological factions are trying to go out on their own. One of those is Clamor Boy. They're knitting beh behind him. They're planning to break him out. Oh, so Clamor Boy is in jail. And they're trying to break Clamor Boy out. So we're going to have to stop him. So I guess since we have to stop him, they've already broken him out. And they must be probably sneaking him through the sewers or something to try to get him to safety. And we're going to have to go in there and put a stop to it. Let's sell. What have we got here? Focus Smite. So this is not... I don't use this one because it's only a 5 slot attack uh, set. Theoretically you could use it and then put something else in... Uh, in there, like a damage SO or something to fi finish it out, whatever it needs, and recharge, endurance, whatever. Um, I guess theoretically, but usually I only just go for sets that have six enhancements in this set. And then I check and make sure it'll give me the equivalent of at least one plus accuracy SO, at least three damage SOs, and at least an endurance and or a recharge. Usually they have all of those in them, and it's better than SOs. It's it's sort of like an accuracy DO and SO, a triple damage 
SOs and like a recharge and an endurance SO and DO. So it's like you're having almost like eight slots in the power, but that you're putting some DOs in some of those slots instead of eight slots with all SOs. If you if that makes sense, hopefully it does. I have to say I really love the way a lot of the buildings in this city look. Look how great these are. For an old game, I'm, I'm always, whenever I really stop and look at this game, I'm amazed at how wonderful it looks for the time, for the era when it was produced. They really did a nice job. And it was a small company, right? It wasn't like they had, you know, $100 million backing. They were just basically a mom and pop operation. A bunch of friends who, my understanding is it was started by a bunch of friends who were video game nerds and also like to play champions and some of them were computer nerds and stuff and they got the idea hey let's do EverQuest but with superheroes and the rest is history guys Yeah, this character is doing really well. I, I mean, she's in plus twos. I'm sorry, plus ones, and she's fighting a lot of plus twos, and it's just not even, not really even hampering her at all. I think once we have the rest of our powers with our um, accuracy double slotted, I think at that point, it'll be time to move us up to plus two. So we have a few to go, right? We're going to need to double slot accuracy. I don't know if we need it on power crash. Yeah, we need it on power crash, we need it on energy transfer, and we're going to need a single accuracy on total focus. So once we have those, then I'll be ready to move us up to plus two. Because then we won't, you know, we'll still be able to hit, right? So you can see we're like 91% against this guy, that's enough. Although we are getting some misses now, right? If you don't have 95% to hit, you will get the occasional miss. Um, and it's it seems like it's way more than 5% of the time. And maybe it's just confirmation bias or whatever, but it certainly seems that way to me. So now I'm not going to waste the big hit on that guy. I'll give it to this guy. The energy holds for a little while. It doesn't... So one of the things is once you do total focus and the energy builds up, it'll hold it for like, I don't know, 20 seconds or something. You don't have to discharge it on the very next hit. It's just that once you use one of the powers that discharges it, that's the end of it. So we're looking for Clamor Boy. See, now we can discharge it. There we go. Hit the wrong thing there. I meant to hit the other power. This one. I guess it doesn't matter that much. This one also has a really long animation time. But not quite as long as um, energy transfer. And there's Clamor. Let's see if we can auto-stun this guy. We're working him down pretty well. That takes him out. And that's the mission, guys. Mission complete. And we stopped Clamor Boy. So I was right. We were in the sewers, right? So he broke out. They took him underground into the sewers. And Liberty Lash showed up and stopped him. What are you guys doing? Why are you attacking me when you're Grey Cons? Um, okay, I will kill you all in one shot. Or defeat you all in one shot. That's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Why did they go after me? As Grey Cons. What level were they? Two? Level twos! 
Aggro to... Oh, they aggro to me because of the taunt field. I keep forgetting about that. Pretty dumb of them. Okay, we gotta go stop another one of the raids because they're still raiding places and trying to wreak havoc on the city. This will be our last mission for tonight. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm enjoying this character. I really am. I mean, I love scra Scrappers and Brutes anyway, but I'm really liking Energy Melee. I think it's a very cool set. And I'm enjoying Willpower. This is this might be the highest Willpower. I've had Willpower a couple times before. I had a, when it first came out and Dual Wield first came out, I had a Dual Blades Willpower Stalker or Scrapper. And I got her close to 30. I don't remember if I got her to 32. I don't think so. I think I got her into the mid to upper 20s. So now I've gotten a Brute to 50 before, Quintessence last. I've gotten multiple Scrappers. Martial Arts Super Reflex. I don't know if I've ever gotten a non-Martial Arts Scrapper to level 50. Because I like in live, I got a Scrapper and a Tanker. I got um, my Martial Arts Scrapper and I got my Fire Ice Tanker. To 50. Um, I got my Dominator to only in the 40s. I never got her to 50. I never got my other tanker, the original Liberty last, past 46 or something, 45, something like that, 44. Uh, I'm trying to think. Who else did I get to 50? Uh, well, I mean, so in on Rebirth, right, I got a Mastermind to 50, I got a Stalker to 50, and I got a Brute to 50. And so I've gotten two Scrappers, both Martial Arts Super Reflex, one in Live and one here on Homecoming. One Brute, one Stalker, one Mastermind, and one Tanker in Live. The Tanker was Live, the others were in on Rebirth to level 50. So yeah, we definitely have to do some non-Brute. You know, i got to start getting some other stuff to 50, right? Like... Oh, that was a mistake. So I gotta keep remembering not to hit that thing when I'm not fl when I'm not focused up. Um, yeah, I would like to get a Dominator to 50, and I'd like to get some other stuff to 50. You know, maybe I, I said in uh, I think I said in my um, reply to the comments about one person was talking about what archetypes they like to use or whatever, and I think I said, yeah, I'd love to do a Keldian. But the problem with Keldians is you kind of have to have a group with them. And if you don't, then they're they're kind of weaker. And I hate dealing with the Quantums and the Voids, which have the weakness of the Keldians. So it's super frustrating. The other problem with Keldians is I really hate the forms. I just think that it's a terrible mechanic. I don't like it at all. So... And I mean, maybe I would like the mechanic a little better if I didn't think the forms were hideously ugly, because they both are, in my opinion. But I also just don't like the whole idea that um, you have to slot the forms, and then the forms are only as good as the slotting is. It just it ends up making you need a lot of slots for Keldians. And maybe on Rebirth it's not so bad, because they give you the free health and stamina slots. So it saves you four slots. You can put it on one of your forms. Maybe it's okay there, but here, uh, I just feel like you're so slot poor for so much of your character's life. And then to make it worse by giving you two other powers that also need to be six slotted, uh, no thanks. But the real problem is just that their power level scales with team size, and I'd be soloing it. Maybe I should have made a Keldian for, um, for the uh, roleplay mercenary group. The only problem is... Um, I don't know if the Keldian, if you can do the Keldian storyline in the Rogue Isles, because my recollection was that the, um, the contact was in Atlas Park.
for doing the Keldian missions. Each five level range, you got an extra set of missions that nobody else got. That were just Keldian missions. Ah, what am I doing? Hit the wrong button. Ugh. Okay. We need four technicians that we have to save. Did I just miss some? I bet I did. Well, we'll come back. Yeah, one of the one of the design flaws of City of Heroes is just how many maps have these ridiculously long corridors of emptiness. And it's like, what's the point of all those corridors when there's only one room on this entire level that has enemies in it? It's almost like they're screwing with you, you know? <coughs> Another respawn. Man, they really are going at it today in terms of the regenning. I was telling a friend of mine, um, I've been reading work by Brandon Sanderson. I started with his first novel, Elantris, and now I'm uh, halfway through the third book of the Mistborn series. There's one of the scientists. And um, I've been really enjoying it. He makes really cool magic systems, which I like. The only thing is, when the magic system is really really well explained and really detailed and sort of logical. It almost becomes more like science fiction than fantasy. And uh, he actually talked about this, I think, in his course. Um, because you go online and there's a playlist of all of Brandon Sanderson's 2020 lectures. And uh, as somebody who's planning to start writing again and has never been published, it was very helpful to see those he's I, I actually need to go and rewatch them and I, I was just kind of watching them just like a TV show or whatever I actually need to go back and like start taking notes and write stuff down but uh, but yeah I, I've enjoyed watching his explanations of how he writes and I've also very much enjoyed reading those first few books so, um, I'm having a lot of fun with that. What other books are you guys reading? Does anybody still read comic books? I, I kind of don't anymore. Um, I actually need to contact the comic shop because I think the last time I spoke to them and asked them what was still on my pull list, they had there was one comic, and this was back in like June or something, and I've been just so busy with stuff that I just kind of forgot about it. And so, I don't know what else is in my box. There's probably not much, but... I need to get that stuff because they've been holding it for me for a long time and that's not really fair so anyway uh, what books do you guys read what what kind of genres do you like what uh, what comic books do you read if any you know do you read the superhero stuff and one of the things that it took me a while to wrap my brain around um, in the last uh, I don't know say 10 years was the fact that there's so many comic books out there that aren't about superheroes because when I was growing up like 90% of comics were about superheroes and if you liked superheroes you liked comics and if you didn't like superheroes you didn't like comics but now there's so many other comics that are about all kinds of things post-apocalyptic um, meltdowns and um, crime and historical fiction and all kinds of neat stuff 
it's not all superhero stuff. In fact, a lot of the best stuff isn't anymore. It used to be that the best stuff was the superhero stuff, but it's just not... It just doesn't seem like that's true anymore. No, it isn't true anymore. <laughs> There's no seeming about it. But uh, some of you may have, like, all-time favorite comics. For example, my all-time favorite superhero comic is... Oh, uh, that's tough, but it's probably Walt Simonson's Thor. But I'd also have to give a shout-out to Hawk and Dove, the uh, 19... whatever it is, 88, 89, 90 series was very, very good. I really liked it. Okay, we've missed stuff. Apparently. So let's go back. We have two technicians to find, and I somehow missed them on the previous couple levels. Oh, I see. I didn't go down over there. we got to look under the ramps, because you never know where they're hiding. Yeah, we didn't go this way. So has anybody else watching, have you guys played Energy Melee? What did you think of it? Um, did you enjoy it as much as I've been enjoying it? Do you feel like it's a good set? Do you feel like it's lackluster? Does it does it not do enough damage? Does it do a good amount of damage? What do you feel like? I feel like it does pretty good damage. I feel like Quintessence Last was um, doing more damage. But I don't know if she was doing more damage at this point. Yep, yeah, there's nobody else here. What the heck? Ah, he got up. I think at least 80% of these guys got up in this mission. And there are other times when it's maybe 10%. Ah, uh, there's probably a hostage over here. There usually is in this little setup on any map. I used to have a theory with a freak show resing that if they didn't dull pain they were more likely to res than if they used if they burned it while they were conscious then I thought that meant that they were less likely to res I I think I kept track of it you see how many misses we just did we just have two in a row with 95% to hit that's just insane another miss at 87% Oh, there's a we missed an elevator. We still have to find two technicians. But we are taking these guys down, I think, as fast as Quintessence Last did at this level, maybe faster. One technician to go.
hopefully that one will be on this level so that we don't have to go looking around for what I missed. Because I'm pretty horrible at that. If I was going to look in the place, I would have looked in it already. If I missed stuff, then that always involves me going back and um, trying to find stuff in places where I've already looked and I've already kind of looked at where I think the uh, qu our quarry is. And if I don't have it at this point, then... Um, it's really hard to figure out well, where did I miss, right? What didn't I notice the first time through? Gosh, another miss. Another res. My gosh. Constant. It really has been like 80-85% of them have res. I wish I'd known that they were going to abnormally be abnormal about how frequently they res or I would have tracked it and we would know the exact percent chance. All right. And there's our last sausage. All right, let's put some inspirations on because there are a lot of these guys here. Love those nice ju juicy AOE attacks. Oh, it doesn't really matter if we rec rescue the hostages because this is defeat all. Another guy res. That looks like everybody here. But there are still, I think, several spawns because when you get to the last spawn, usually you get little red arrows. Watch this be one of these giant mega rooms with the power, whatever you want to call it. Yup! I hate these rooms. I really don't know why they added these. I mean, other than just to be jerks to the player base, these rooms are horrible. They're just, there's almost never anything there in terms of um, what you need to do for a mission. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. Wow, okay. Let's just go ahead and use all our inspirations since I over aggroed. There, there's not. There's almost never any hostage, glowy, or boss in these rooms. It's always just... i got to stop using that power when it's not under focus. It's always just there to kind of be there. Just to make you fight a bunch of guys. And as a, as a piece of design, I think they're pretty awful. Man, how many of these guys rezzed? Is it the whole group? Gosh. They have improved things a little bit. I remember when this first came out, if it was a defeat all, you had to take out all the lab equipment. I remember doing it. And you can see what's left over from that, because they got that out because people complained, and what's left over from it is when we finish the last, like, when we only have one spawn left, all of the uh, these objects will light up red as if they have to be defeated. They don't have to be, but they used to have to be. And I guess they took out that you have to defeat them, but 
They didn't take out the fact that they show up as little red arrows. So you'll probably see it in another minute or so. Miss, miss. So let's see here. Nope, they still haven't given me red arrows, so that means there must be somebody else. The other weird thing is, oh, now it's actually showing the map. Back when this first came out, you just went off the map and it was just black. So that's everything here, I think. All right, so what are we missing? Is there another elevator? No, oh, one of these rooms. Wow, we're surrounded again. I've been over aggroing a lot. I did it again. I keep accidentally using that power, so I'm going to have to do something with it. I think I do need to move it out here to differentiate it. Because it, to my eye, this looks too much like that, I guess. And even though they don't really look anything like each other, and I keep hitting that when I mean to hit that. All right, I keep hitting energy transfer when I mean to hit power crash. I never, I can never remember the names of most of these powers. Unless it's something obvious, you know. The martial arts I have an easier time with because it's just like Thunder Kick, Storm Kick, Crane Kick. But when you have something like Total Focus versus Power Crash, yeah, I'm going to be honest, I'm never going to remember the difference between the names. What I look for is the symbol on the um, uh, on the little um, tray icon. And now you can see, there are the lab guys. It used to be you had to take all those out, but there must be another spawn somewhere else, because I don't think you have to take the lab, the lab, um, the lab, what do you call them, objects? I don't think you have to take them out. So let's take the elevator and see what else there is to see. Let me pause it here and I'll bring you back when I find the bad guys. Alright, here we are. We have... Just these guys must have respawned and I didn't notice it. Just this one guy, I guess, respawned and I left too quickly. What? Alright, well that's one guy. I guess we gotta try to take the lab objects out. I'll bring you back when we're in the room. Alright, here we are. If this doesn't work, this mission will be auto-completed. So, this, is, this shows the lack of proportion in some of these missions. We did two missions in 24 minutes, and now this mission has taken another, like, 30 minutes. Now, I'm not saying every mission has to be exactly the same, but I feel like something isn't right. Oh, there's what we need, this guy. 
something isn't right when you're taking like more than twice as long to do a mission compared to the ones you've been doing, right? It shouldn't be that disproportionate. And that's the mission. We didn't have to take out the lab objects after all. There was just a guy hiding next to one so that I couldn't see his little arrow. All right, folks, let's talk to our contact and then we'll be finishing up for tonight. So there's another chapter, but we will do that next time. And until then, I am Scrapperlock, and this has been City of Heroes on the Homecoming servers.